Welcome to This Week at Little Hills. We have been going through the fruit of the Spirit um, for the past number of weeks, and um, then we switched over to the opposite of the fruit of the Spirit, which has been a very cool journey as we journey through this. Of course, the fruit of the Spirit is found in Galatians 5, 22 through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, and against such things there is no law. Now we are going to do the opposite of each part of the fruit of the Spirit, and we've already done a few of them these past couple of weeks. But basically, if you look back in Galatians chapter 5, 19 through 21, it talks about what is the work of the flesh. And of course, this is the opposite of the fruit of the Spirit is the work of the flesh. So this week, we're going to look at patience, which a lot of them on you, you know, you Google patience and see what the opposite of patience is. Um, one is frustrated, intolerant, violent, impatient, of course, opposite of it being patient, and rough, kind of like, you know, it really was close to being irritated with whatever is going on with you. Well, I thought, you know, I think I'm pretty patient with things, you know, and then, you know, that was at first glance, you know, okay, I kind of do this, this, till I ask God, hey, as I go through the day to day, just show me some examples where I'm not very impatient. Huh, that's not a very good thing to do. <laughs> well, he did, and now I've got some things to work on. And, you know, that's very good. I'm, um, that's how we, we get better in our sanctification whenever we um, look at things that we have to do to improve our walk as, as Christians. You know, a lot of times I feel that I get impatient a lot when I get in a hurry. Because we, you know, I got, I got all this stuff to do and then everything gets out of hand and I feel out of control because I try to hurry up. Well, like today I was at Quick Trip thinking, well, I could just run in and get a drink. And in that case, there was a long line. I was like the fifth one in line, and then the person way up ahead of me was just like, had all these questions and trying to get all the lottery tickets and all this stuff. I was like, come on, man. Sometimes a lot of, I see a lot of stuff on the job site. You know, I get impatient because things aren't working right or, or things don't go cool. And um, sometimes I have to revamp my whole plan of attack. You know, you get thinking, okay, I go in, I do this, 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 and get it done, and things are totally different. Have you ever had things eat you, but yeah, you kept it inside? Like things were bothering you, and you kept it inside until it just you just let it rip out of your mouth. Or sometimes you just get aggravated, and bam, there you are. You're you're using your hands, or or, or you know throwing things around, and you know that's being impatient actually, because you know we don't we want things our way, we don't see things our way, so we just start to get that. Well, now it's time to let's look at some verses, see what the Bible has to say about this stuff. Psalms 39, 2 through 3 says, I was mute and silent. I held my peace to no avail, and my distress grew worse. My heart became hot within me as I mused the fire burned, and then I spoke with my tongue. I wonder if the tongue was really good or what happened. Mute with silence. That's a lot of times when we hold things in because we just, oh, I want to get through this. I can't get through this. You get very impatient with things and instead of just having a cool heart. It burns up. Maybe when we get that away or when you feel that way, maybe we should find a way to to um, to calm you down or, or, or read some scripture or sing a song. You know, like in Proverbs 14, 29, it says, Whoever is slow to anger has great understanding. But he who has a hasty temper exalts folly. You can't be patient and have a, a hot tempered head. But man, slow to anger, slow to be patient with, with other people that might be in line in front of you or maybe even driving down the road and you want to hurt feel like you're so important, you gotta be there first. I gotta get ahead of you, get right, get out of my way. You know. We just got to think about how to be impatient. We need to be more patient with the things and wait upon the Lord. Just think how patient God is with us personally. 
when we mess up, when we when we catch ourselves, you know, falling falling into some type of sinful act, or when we become impatient, they actually shown, hey, God, I don't trust in you. What's going on? I I, I want to take care of this. It just doesn't work out that way. Well, let's look, we can we look at Romans 9, I mean, sorry, Romans 12, 9 through 13. It says, let love be genuine. Adore what is evil. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Wow, we think the middle verses in there is is what really can capture our minds, and that's um, be patient in tribulation. When things are just not going right, we need to be patient and see what does God really have in store for me in that, and what what's going on, you know. You know, how can I do that? You know, like I was standing in line, you know, today at Best Buy and the lady in front of me was very impatient. And after things, you know, thinking about this verse and, and about, you know, being patient, I was very patient. It's like, yes, I wanted to hurry up because I needed I needed something new in order to do my um hold my to hold my, my camera on my phone up. Because the last time I did this it broke. And I would have thought I could hurry up and get in the Best Buy, hurry me out, but no, someone in front had problems with trying to exchange things. There was two people in front of me. I was number three. You know what? And the lady in front of me started complaining. I said, you know what? They don't know what's going to happen. We just need to kind of wait. And, you know, she, I don't think she really liked my positiveness on it, but it was teaching me something. You know, it was like, wow, Jim, this is how we have to be. Just, you know, I'm blessed. God is good. So as, as you're about to go through the week, just see how impatient you really are in your life. It's, it's amazing. Maybe it's just me. You know, I'm putting it all out there. But ask God to help you through this part of the fruit of the Spirit and see where he le leads you. You know, that's how we get better in things, by asking God, just not thinking that, hey, we're all good, I got all this, or, or we make excuses. But um, that's it for this week. And um, as we do the opposite of the fruit of the Spirit, which is really the fl our fleshly desires. But you can always join us every Sunday night, live in person at 5.30. And then sun um, Monday night, we have our Steadfast program also um, teaching. So Little Hills um, Church, we're always here for you and always here to encourage you along in the Word and, 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 and teach you God's Word also. Thank you for all you do, and may God bless you. Thank you.